Hi there, welcome back to Colorado and Company. You know, it could be hard for children sometimes to express their feelings. And that's how our next guest decided to help by writing her first book. If only humans had tails and more tails. This idea began after watching her dogs use their tails to show if they were happy or feeling scared or even sad. Author Vicki Medina and photographer Sean McNeil joins us along with Michelle Ostrander and Cargo with Freedom <laughs> Service Dogs. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's nice to have you all on. So, Vicki, what like moved you to finally sit down and say, I'm going to write this book, I'm going to do this? Well, I think it was about six years ago, and I was busy working, but I noticed my dogs were trying to tell me their emotions through their tails, and I noticed other dogs were doing that, too. And I thought, wouldn't it be easy if humans had tails as well? It would sure take a lot of the guesswork out. <laughs> but So I wrote that book about six years ago, but was too busy working. And when I finally retired, you get to that bucket list, and I was with my daughter. I said, you know what? You want to help me make this happen? That's so sweet. And I had seen Sean being interviewed, and I said, oh my gosh, what a perfect partnership. And your daughter is Nine News anchor Corey Rose. Yes, yes. Which everybody is. loves, by the way. <laughs> she is adorable, Thank beautiful you. outside and inside. Thank Did you. she help you write this book? She helped me get the models together and yeah. edit and make it, make it look the way it does. You know, I have to admit, our um, youngest dog, Zuri, pretty big dog, has a tail that when it swings, it hurts like heck. <laughs> There's so many times I wish I had that tail like that just to my husband and say, oh, you get back in line, pal. <laughs> and what made you think to have Sean as a photographer and to get all the models together? When I saw Sean being interviewed uh, regarding Dogs of Denver, I said, oh my gosh, if I do this book, I have to do it with Sean because yeah. Sean is the best pet photographer Aww, that's and so has sweet. that title. So, of course, I want that. So I said, Corey, can you make it happen? Can we have a meeting with Sean? And we did. And Sean was kind enough to uh, donate his services, too. So. That's so sweet. You could take a little look at this. You would know when they are timid or unsure just by how the little dog is <laughs> wagging its tail and looking so cute. Now, why did you decide you wanted to team up with Vicki and Corey on this? Well, when they approached me, I mean, first of all, Vicki and Corey are awesome. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, it was an opportunity to photograph dogs in a new light. You know, I, I've always photographed them kind of from the front, but not trying to get the tails involved. <laughs> right. And so uh, I was up for the challenge. And then when I found out it benefited Freedom Service Dogs, you know, I, I couldn't help but say yes. And you have a book. It's Dogs of Denver, right? I do. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. I mean, that's pretty fun. Why did you decide to do uh, Dogs of Denver? Uh, it, it, just a great fundraiser, a great way to, you know, meet. Um, different dogs and uh, you know photograph them and capture their emotions. Do you have a favorite breed? Uh, I, I'm very partial to Bernie's Mountain Dogs because I have one. Oh you do? <laughs> <laughs> that, is that the favorite type yeah. to photograph? Yeah. Very very nice. Now what's the connection with you the book and Freedom Service Dogs? Well Sean had mentioned it and so did Corey and so we met with several of the people from Freedom Service Dogs and I love their missions mm -hmm. and I thought wow if this book could help one person at Freedom mm -hmm. Service Dogs through one of their missions I would be delighted and when they were receptive to being a beneficiary it just was a win-win. Well and speaking of one person that lady right there Michelle Ostrander she does so much for the community so I'm happy that you did team up with Freedom Service Dogs. Why did you think this was a good fit for the organization? It was a perfect fit. It really, um, you know, we depend on the community to fuel our mission. Um, and so their generous donations will really help us serve more people, provide more service dogs, help more children at risk, understand how to express their own emotions. So it's a great book that we can even incorporate into our programs. There's new viewers all the time tuning in and possibly have never heard of Freedom Service Dogs. Could you explain about your foundation? Certainly. Our mission is to unleash the potential of service dogs like our cargo here. So sweet. Um, by transforming them into custom trained, life changing assistant dogs for people in need. And we help veterans with PTS, post-traumatic stress, traumatic brain injury, active duty military. We help teens with autism and adults with mobility issues, uh, paralysis, stroke, MS, a variety of mobility challenges. And we had a gentleman who served in the military on with you in the past, and yes. he suffered from PTSD, and mm -hmm. he said, oh my gosh, this has changed my life. It's opened up all new possibilities living again. Absolutely. For our veterans, our dogs are truly life-changing. They help them get out of the house, re-engage with the community, re, you know, 
get and go to school activities and really, really get back into the swing of life and enjoying life and engaging in life. You're celebrating a big milestone, the 30th anniversary coming up. We are. This is our 30th year. Um, we were started in 1987 by Michael and PJ Roche. Michael was a paramedic and his ambulance was hit and broadsided and he was paralyzed. And PJ was a dog trainer and she trained Oreo to do tasks for Michael. And that's oh. how we started. Oh, that's Cargo is just kicking back, relaxing, <laughs> the easiest dog ever. And by the way, he has a cute little bow tie, but it's on his back. It's the wrong <laughs> What's Cargo's story? So Cargo was trained um, back in 2011 and was placed with a woman, yes, good, good boy, um, named Judy. And he helped, Judy, she used a wheelchair. Uh, pick up items that were dropped and helped her move and just some um, other tasks. Unfortunately, Judy passed away about three years later. And so Cargo came back to us because we provide lifetime support for our dogs. And Cargo was adopted by one of our staff members. And so oh, now yeah. Cargo serves as our ambassador dog. So sweet. Travels the country educating about the benefits of service dogs. That's a wonderful story. Now you have a way our viewers can help you at an event on July 28th. Tell me about it. Yes, we have our um, sporting clay tournament coming up in Kiowa Creek, which is in Bennett, Colorado. This event benefits our veterans, and so it helps provide service dogs free of charge to our veterans. Um, you can register online. It's $800 for a team of four. We will start at 10 a.m. We have an auction and um, lots of great door prizes, so and people will want to participate. Come okay, and September 9th, quickly, you have an event for it's dogs? It's called Doggy Plunge, Okay, and that is a really fun event. We have 600 dogs who come out to Pirate's Cove, and they just play in the water, and they run around, That's and they awesome. have a great time. So we let the water park go to the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you really have done a wonderful thing helping all of these dogs, helping humans. Um, where can we pick up this book? Through Freedom Service Dogs. Just go on their website, freedomservicedogs.org, $10, and all proceeds come to Freedom Service Dogs. It's such a cute book. What's your next idea? Do you have anything? Oh, come. it's Mom's the Word. Oh, come on! <laughs> all right, I'm going to have to try and get it out of Corey. We'll see. Thank you so much for coming on, and truly a wonderful way to help others pay it forward. You know, Dogs of America is celebrating 30 years. Freedom Dogs of America is celebrating 30 years of transforming lives. That's 210 in dog years. Celebrate this big anniversary at Faces of Freedom Sporting Clays Tournament in Denver, July 28th. Save the date for the Doggy Plunge at Pirate's Cove Aquatic Center on September 9th. That's going to be a lot of fun. And if only humans had tails and more tails can be your next summer read for a suggested donation of only $10. All proceeds benefit Freedom Service Dogs. For more information, visit FreedomServiceDogs.org. That's FreedomServiceDogs.org.